So the iPhone 15 has been out for about nine months and the iPhone 13 has been out since 2021. In this episode, we're going to find out how they perform next to each other in an iOS 18 speed test. All right, so let's go ahead and begin this test with a boot up in three, two, and two go and see which we can get there first. Now, the iPhone 15 is rocking an A16 Bionic. It's the one found in the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. The iPhone 13 is rocking the A15 Bionic. This is a 2021 phone right here with the iPhone 13, so it's about three years old. And on iOS 18, it boots up faster than the iPhone 15. And with the recent announcement of no Apple intelligence for the iPhone 15 features-wise, this phone aged like milk, the iPhone 15. I mean, it's not even a year cycle in, and we already don't support the Apple intelligence. Super annoying, if you ask me. Still great phone, still a great hardware upgrade from here, but features-wise, what do you guys think about no Apple intelligence for iPhone 15 and 15 Plus? Those phones are near 1,000, depending on the storage. Some go over 1,000. Let me know your thoughts down below on that. All right, so confirming the software version, iPhone 15 at 22A, 5297F. You can see right here, 22A5297F. This is beta 2, as you can see right there with the App Store icon in black or dark mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can see right there on beta 2 for both. Beta 3 might be arriving next week. Now, both of these are 60 hertz phones, so when kind of just scrolling through them, it's not too easy to see a difference here. As a matter of fact, there's virtually no difference. And I'm gonna tell you something about my take on this when it comes to the no Apple intelligence. Some people don't care. And some people say the target people of this phone probably wouldn't even use that anyway. But some people will care because some people are just buying the base models because that's what's in their budget, not because they don't want a latest phone. So overall, it makes the iPhone 15 feel like another 13 with just a few enhancements. Versus before, I thought it was gonna be a way big upgrade because I thought it was going to get all the new stuff. Um, but generally these phones now having the same software kind of feel like just a dynamic Island notch difference with a smoother hardware on the iPhone 15 versus the 13, AKA what I'm saying is it doesn't feel like a massive upgrade. Now that Apple intelligence is not here. Now the 15 pro, the pro max, any of the 16s getting the AI stuff. Those are the ones that feel like bigger upgrades now. That's just the bottom line. Scrolling through the 60 hertz can show a little bit of stutter sometimes comparatively to a ProMotion, but uh, coming over here from the 13, generally running through because they didn't go to ProMotion even on the base model, no big issues. Now Control Center is still a little bit choppy here on the iPhone 13. Let's go ahead and add some controls here. We'll go ahead and add dark mode. Let's go ahead and add another one. How about the flashlight? Now when scrolling through, the control center, you can see there was a slight delay there, pretty nice lag right there going on the first scroll. But let's say if the 15 does the same thing, let's go ahead and go to add controls. We'll add a control here about screen recording. And let's hit another control, recognize music, and go here. And you'll see similarly slow there in this control center area. Again, this is a beta. Keep in mind, we're not talking about official software but both of them exhibit that same uh, performance issue in Control Center, regardless of the fact that this is a newer one with the more powerful chip. Right. So when we are over here in the customization area, let's hit edit, we'll hit customization, and we'll hit the large icons. You'll see both of them pop into that same speed. Very nice. We go ahead and hit these dark wallpaper features. If we hit automatic, it'll go to the automatic light mode, light mode right there. And then if we tint them out, It'll tint similarly. Now let's see if these have any issues with the icons and you could see 15 with some issues. Not nothing major though. Let's go ahead now and bring it back into the dark mode. Hold on, we'll go to large. You see in dark mode wasn't triggering properly. And the 13 with a little more stutter there with the transition but nothing serious. They both look like they can do this customization at about the same performance on either of them. All right guys, so everything is closed out for both phones. Let's begin with calendar here in this app test and you see in about the same weather. And that's faster on the left. 
Let's go into clock and let's go into alarms, stopwatch and timers. Set up out of there, app store. And you could see, was that faster on the 13 games? Faster on the 13? And games faster. Wow, what the heck? Let's go into arcade. Yeah, so overall, 13 was launching some of those a little faster, but you could see in base apps, not a big issue. Let's go into calculator. Faster on the left. And you can see no history there. We go into math notes. Let's go ahead and hit the calculator here. Scientific. Pretty similar. Let's go into news. We'll hit following. I'm going to go over here to iPhone. Maybe the iPhone 15. Let's go ahead and just click uh, an article. Let's just click this one, whatever this is. Generally, just kind of scrolling through, not a major difference in the base apps. Let's head into third party with eBay. And we'll see faster on the left for the iPhone 15. Let's head up out of there and we'll go into Groupon on both. And you'll see Groupon launches first there on the left. We'll go to categories and let me go to sales. And you'll see generally pretty nice there to load, not a big issue whatsoever. So a pretty, pretty good uh, performance here within Groupon. Let's go into Amazon. Oh, I missed that one. Let me close that. Now I got to open that. So the cash is similar. Wow. These phones are slippery right here. Sliding around the table. Yeah. I find the 15 to be a little bit of a slippery phone. So, so let's go into Amazon here. Three, two, go. See launching very similarly. So even though we messed up initially, tends to launch about the same. Let's go into Instagram and you'll see Instagram generally, was that the 15? Maybe. Look at this. This is an iPhone 13, dude. Let's go into X. Why is this performing exactly the same as the iPhone 15? I would think it would be better on the 15. Nope. Let's go into Temper Run 2. So my thing is with the 15 is, here we go. Now the 15 will pull ahead. Gaming. Okay. Are you a gamer? Well, then take the 15. It'll be much better. Basic use, about the same. My issue is how are you going to sell 15 now? Like 15 and 15 plus after the fall? I feel like this one is going to be super low sales after the iPhone 16. I mean, unless somebody wants to like just, they're just down with using basic iOS I think they're going to need to be the bigger discounts to make it worthy of a purchase, you know, because you are purchasing into something that is not with the latest features. Yeah, I'm definitely down for the latest tech. So if you're like wondering, not everybody needs those features, Nick, stop beating that, that point home. But the fact of the matter is, is you're investing into technology for yourself, a smartphone. Don't you want to be a getting your money's worth with the latest and greatest and you'll see both of these pretty good, but the 15 really pulls ahead in that GPU. Let's talk about Free Fire here. Generally though, I don't know what it is. I'm starting to feel like the iOS animations look kind of slow though. I think I'm looking at too many Android phones because these iOS animations just seem to take a while. Yeah, they're smooth. Don't get it wrong. They are super smooth. And Free Fire was quicker once again on the iPhone 15. They are super smooth. Let's go to PUBG but they don't look as quick. So we'll see right there. I feel like Apple could actually make these a little snappier with that same smoothness. I just know they could do it. You could see over here on the left, we have the animations on iOS feel like you went down 0.5 X in the transition scale for developer options on an Android phone. You could see right there, that was the 15. I just had all these pop-ups. PUBG is going to be quicker on the 15 as well. Let me head up out of there. Look at that delay, though. 13 coming back was a delay. Let's go into Geekbench 6. And remember, 6 gigs of RAM on the left, 4 gigs of RAM on the right. And I feel like this um, bump in RAM didn't really help the 15 so much now that we see that you need 8 gigs for the Apple intelligence. Let's go into Speed Test Net. Pretty similar. And iMovie. 
iPhone 13. So certain apps launch first on the iPhone 13, certain on the 15. Mostly where it really pulls ahead and needs more power is in the area of gaming, which the 15 won. So I think technically we have our answer. The 15 on iOS 18, um, still faster, but you've seen testing the very popular iPhone 13 on iOS 18. It looks like it's going to run this software very, very nice with no major issues. As we get more polished going forward, I expect the 13 to run like butter on iOS 18. All right, so let's run back through the apps on the iPhone 15. We are looking at six gigabytes of RAM. This has really helped the iPhone 15 to be a really smooth um, reload. So when we're doing reloads and going back between the apps, it really boosted the performance of the base model in this area. But I just wish they would have gave this thing AI. I just think it could do it. Even if they cut back on a few AI features, I still think the 15, being as powerful as it is, it should be able to run it. So pretty good there in performance. No major issues. You've seen that. Let's see if this four gigs of RAM will make a difference here on 18 when relaunching the phone apps here. I have had the 13 get in trouble here before. Let's see if it improved at all. And we're in trouble. We have a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Look at, look at, Temper Run 2 with a full reload. So the four gigs of RAM can't even hold more than eight apps. Literally, Twitter was reloading. Instagram's held. Amazon with a relaunch. Groupon with a full relaunch. eBay was held. A few apps were held. The base apps were held fine. App Store, it's going to clock weather relaunch and location overall you know you can tell the four gigs of ram didn't have enough power to hold everything like the 15 so ram management still going to go to the 15 on the ios 18. all right so i just want to check the general performance of the settings area they did clean this up a little by putting this app section right here and see if we get any relaunches of anything or if we get any like weird app stuff in here let's go ahead and swipe through the sides here see pretty good on the 13 very good on the 15 going into the settings here if I go into accessibility let's go over here you can see pretty good on both so yeah it doesn't look like we're gonna have many issues within the general area of performance let's head into the browsers and do some internet browsing tests now all right guys so let's go to apple.com here in three two go you can see a little faster for the left nothing major let's learn more about the new macbook air how about that? And you'll see faster on the left, a little bit faster browsing there, zooming in, no major issues. Yeah, so pretty good here on both. And let's go to yahoo.com here in three, two, go. And you could see not a major issue on either. So browsing the web is going to be virtually the same. I'm not finding any lag here for iOS 18 beta 2 on either phone. All right, so we're going to do Geekbench 6. We do have a 3.23 gigahertz clock speed and a 3.46 gigahertz. So Apple just kind of like leaving out the A17 Pro or A17 chip from their base models really came back to bite them here with the 15. But I wonder if it was by design so they could sell more 16s. Um, what do you guys think about that? Personally, you know, I don't think it was. I just think the AI just creeped up out of nowhere became super, super popular and we just had to get it out and it was kind of not the right chip, I guess. But I feel like we could have maybe just like lowered the feature set for AI, just give it a little bit less AI that it can run efficiently on the 15. I don't know. Maybe the reverse ship on that, but we'll see what kind of scores we get on Geekbench 6. I'll be back. All right. So we have the final score here for the iPhone 15. Finish first clearly shows more powerful as we would expect here, but by how much and you'll see this is probably why we're not seeing a major difference in the single apps. You could see there is a slight difference for single core. In the multi-core score, though, there's not a major difference either. Man, that performance is not greatly increased. So you would be buying the iPhone 15 majority for dynamic island, improved cameras, and the design. Uh, Chip-wise, it's not a big, big jump here. Let's go into 3D Mark. And we'll go into the Wildlife Extreme and we'll see how iOS 18 Beta 2 does here in our 3D Mark graphical test. And we'll give you the results in a second. So the results are quite a bit different here on the Wildlife Extreme, but not massively. 
we can do a 12.5 FPS on the iPhone 13 and a 17 FPS on the iPhone 15. Now this is scoring better than only 62% of devices. So that means about 38% of devices are faster than the iPhone 15. This is also quite warm there. Let me check this one. This one's also quite warm as well. Uh, heat management feels a little better on the 13, if I'm being honest. Uh, maybe because it's not as powerful, but this is only scoring better than 41% of devices. So nearly 60% of devices on the market are faster than the iPhone 13 at this point when it comes to GPU. So let's go into iMovie here, and I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you that even if you want to do some editing, iOS 18 would probably not give you an issue whatsoever if you wanted to do some video editing for your phone, no major problems. I also want to go ahead and pull out the cameras here. So let me bring in my toy car for the example. And let me go ahead and grab the camera because it's not right here on the home screen. Let's just put it right there. Actually, that's a bad spot. Let's put it right there. Also, I wanted to mention, did you notice how that camera flew up in the left corner? So iOS 18 does allow you to put apps anywhere you want, but it kind of, it still sometimes does this thing where like they kind of like still want to fly in the corner. It's weird. Like they give you the option, but you kind of got to really place it right there. So it stays right there. All right. So let's go ahead and launch the cameras three, two, go. And let's see how they take photos. You can see ultra wides work fine. And overall the camera hasn't been a major issue. I have found in iOS 18 beta two though. Um, once in a while, the camera will, if you take a photo, it will like, do a little flicker and then it'll just kind of crash a little bit. You have to relaunch the camera that happened to me twice already on beta two. So it is a potentiality that that will happen. But at the end of the day, iPhone 15 versus 13 on iOS 18 speed test. Um, what we conclude here is that the 15 is slightly faster, obviously than the iPhone 15. It's a newer phone over the iPhone 13. It's a newer phone. But the iPhone 13, we got to see in this test how it performs, and um, it does pretty good. Uh, it's looking good. And the iPhone 13 actually increases its value, I feel like, because since the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus aren't running AI, basically you can just copy yourself a cheaper 13 or a 14 or a 14 Plus and still have the same basic software that a 15 user is going to get. The only people who are really going to be having the latest and greatest are those with a 15 Pro or any of the 16 models. So yeah, we might see a super cycle upgrade this year to the 16s, and I'll be talking about the 16s soon, so be subscribed. Anyway, if you found this video entertaining, informing, enjoyable, click the like button for me, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well, and peace. Peace.